Hello, Resurrection. Today is Thursday, June the 3rd, if you can believe that. It's hard to believe that that uh, almost half of the year is gone. Things continue to get back on track at the Resurrection. Attendance numbers uh, are up. The 8 o'clock service on Sunday was it was a bumper crowd. They are, uh, they're doing as well as they ever have. Uh, just folks pouring into that, that early service. The late service still seems to lag. I'm particularly concerned uh, that our young families have not come back yet. I'm watching the average age of the parish uh, increase a little bit, which is, is always uh, a bit of a concern uh, for, especially for the Episcopal Church. We're, uh, we're kind of known for that, and we had been bucking that curve at Church of the Resurrection for a while. And I think we will continue uh, that trend, but a lot of families are are still a little standoffish because a lot of children have not been vaccinated yet. I know that my own children are still uh, wearing their masks in the, uh, the service, partly because we want them to and partly because they want to. And that's absolutely, uh, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but we, if you are ready to come back to church, church is ready to have you uh, uh, back. I don't say that out of desperation. I say that because there are some faces that I'm really missing. Uh, we got a couple of, of faces last Sunday that we had not seen in quite a while. Boy, it was good to, to see them. Now, there's not going to be any Wednesday night Bible study uh, this coming Wednesday, June the ninth. Uh, that's uh, there's something that's been on my calendar for a good long while uh, that I have to attend to uh, next Wednesday. So no Wednesday night, uh, no Wednesday night supper, no Wednesday night Bible study, uh, no youth group that night either. Uh, Wednesday night youth group, and uh, and I don't believe that Elizabeth will be doing her Narnia series that night, but we'll let her make that call. We'll keep you posted. We should know that. And it should be in the e-bulletin uh, where this uh, video is attached. Now, Women of the Covenant and and yoga before Women of the Covenant that has taken a little uh, break as some folks are out of town and their uh, their numbers have dwindled till folks get back from some vacations and things like that. So, Women of the, Women of the Covenant will resume on June the twenty fourth, and yoga uh, right before that will all happen beginning on June the twenty fourth. Uh, this month, uh, actually in about a week and a half, two weeks, the the youth group is, hello, Rosie. Come here, baby. Have y'all met my Rosie? Come here, baby. This is Rosie. I don't think you can see her. Rosie is our black lab. Well, she's she's mostly lab. Don't tell her that. Uh, and Rosie is sick, and I don't want her to be at home by herself uh, in these uh, in the last few days that she has. So Andrew and Rosie are up here today uh, romping around the churchyard and things like that. Now, what was I saying? I was saying that the youth group is going on uh, a, a, a stay-at-home mission trip this year. It's June 14 through 18. They're going to be doing some service projects and some fun things. And rather than rent a big van to take them, we don't have that many this year, probably about seven going. Uh, we would we would love to be able to borrow uh, a, a passenger vehicle, a vehicle from somebody that will hold um, seven folks or so uh, from June the 14th to June the 18th. If you have a vehicle that we could trade one of our vehicles with you for a day or two days or three days, uh, talk to George about that. Send George Baldwin. An, an email and, uh, and and let him know about that. You can email him at george at resurrectionfranklin.org. Remember that resurrection has uh, one S and two R's. And uh, send, that, uh, send that to George. I know that he would be very happy uh, to talk to you about that so that he doesn't have to blow his, his budget to rent a, a van for our stay-at-home mission trip. Now, I don't know whether to tell you that I've got good news or that I've got bad news. I got good news and bad news, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. Uh, and that is that Miss Ann Johnson, who uh, is sitting behind me, and I hope she can hear me uh, because I'm not speaking to her. Uh, that's not true. I am. But I am very sorry to tell you that Miss Ann's last day in the office is a week from today. So her uh, husband, probably not speaking to him either, 
Uh, he is going to be uh, running the family business. That's a new decision that the, the, that the uh, Hewlin family and Miss Ann's family has made. You know, they run uh, one of the only uh, pencil plants, pencil manufacturing establishments in the country. Uh, it's been in the family since 1916 or something like that. And, uh, and Scott is going to take over the family business with some help from other members of the family. And that is such a good thing. I have said for years that Scott is the perfect person to take that over, but it means they're moving to Shelbyville. Uh, and I am, uh, oh, I'm just gutted by that. Now, they're going to they're going to continue to be members of the church. It'll be a little commute for them. Uh, Scott will remain on the vestry, and he will remain as the senior warden. Uh, but Miss Ann, it's just too it's just too long a commute for Miss Ann to commute in from Shel Shelbyville uh, to work in the office uh, every day. Uh, I, I I can't even wrap my head around what that will mean in the church office. That'll that'll be a a, a huge loss for me and for uh, the church office. I think, though, that for the time being, we're not going to uh, we're we're not going to replace Miss Ann. I think we'll divvy up all the things that she does, as many of them as we can, and between Pat and Elizabeth and and I, I think we can get most of those things done. If you see some things falling through the cracks, it's for one of two reasons. One. We don't realize that they're falling through the cracks, so let us know. It may be something that we've just missed. Or, or two, we absolutely can't get to it. But let us know either way, and we'll let you know if either we've forgotten it or uh, we need some help with it. Uh, lots of you, uh, the, the ones of you who have known this news, who know this news already, have offered uh, to help. I think we will probably take you up on that. Um, you know, folks have said, I'd love to come by a few hours during the week and help you answer phones or fold things or print things, whatnot. And and, and I, I think we may take you up on that. I'm, I'm kind of excited about that to uh, to get folks in and, um, and more involved in, in what we do every day. At the Church of the Resurrection, I am tickled to death for the Johnson family. Uh, and just so sad all at the same time. Thank goodness they're not moving to Mars. They're moving to Shelbyville and they will remain uh, active parishioners at the Church of the Resurrection. And it is a good thing for, uh, for the whole extended uh, family. And it's a good thing even for industry in, uh, in, uh, in Shelbyville. So I, I wanted you to hear that news before it began to, to trickle out. We talked about it a little bit last night at our Wednesday night Bible study. We'll, we'll announce that again on Sunday. And when you see Miss Ann, you give her a big hug. This has not been an easy transition for her. And Scott is the same way. Uh, a very successful uh, career with, uh, with SSR for years and years and years. And it's a big transition for him and for Ann and even for, uh, even for Elliot and even for Emily. So give them a big hug when you see them. Uh, but the important thing is that we see you. I'm missing several of you so much, and I'm, I'm ready for you to come back when you're ready. I love you, and I will see you soon.